Hello Year 5, how cool was Chapter 5 special guest appearance by the author of Cosmic himself? A special shout out to Pound Hill Junior School pupils. That is how special you are. I really hope you enjoyed that special mention. I hope you also enjoyed listening to Mr Church read Chapter 6. Now it's my job to share with you Chapter 7 which is called I Am On Hold. I made the call on the bus to school the next day. I remember looking out of the window at all the people, queuing outside the post office, standing at the pedestrian crossing, going in and out of the 24-hour Tesco. None of them looked at me like they'd been especially selected. I was going to win. I dialed. The woman with the friendly voice answered right away. Drax Communications, do you want the opportunity to be the greatest dad ever? Yeah, I do, I really do. I was thinking about it all night. I talked for about a minute before I realised she was only a recording. If you accept the terms and conditions of this competition, please press the star key now. I did. We'll take your call as soon as we can. In the meantime, please hold. Remember, all you have to do is get put through. They started playing classical music. They were still playing when the bus pulled up at the school gates half an hour later. Every now and then the music would stop and the friendly voiced woman would say, your call means a lot to us, please hold. There must be a lot of people in the queue. Maybe dad was right, maybe I wasn't that special. I was walking in through the school gates when I got a text alert. We have our first winner. Yes, what's yes about that exactly? Our first winner is Klaus from Hamburg in Germany and his daughter, Anna. Anna's two great passions are thrill rides and helping others, says her father. She once spent 12 hours on the Space Mountain roller coaster at Euro Disney in order to raise money for a local hospital. She hopes to get people to sponsor her to ride the rocket and so raise money for children who were injured in wars around the world. When her school friends heard about this, they wanted to help her. We knew there might be a problem getting through to the number, so they all came to school early and all called the number simultaneously. A boy got through and gave the phone to Anna immediately. She is a worthy winner. In other words, she cheated. I was still on hold during registration. Registration's a noisy business, so no one noticed the music. But first lesson was maths with Miss Jewell. And maths with Miss Jewell is always full of long silences. For instance, Miss Jewell, square root of 64. Class, long silence. Miss Jewell, anybody? Anybody at all? Class, more long silence. So this morning, I tried to answer all her questions just to keep the noise level up and stop her noticing the phone. When she asked something about calculating the volume of a cylinder, I shouted, Miss, Miss, Liam, there's no need to shout Miss, Miss, if no one else is offering to answer the question. There is no need to try and attract my attention if you have no competition. Oh yes, Miss, oh, anyway, Miss, it's pi times the, Thank you, Liam. I already know the answer. I already knew you, I already know you know the answer. I'm hoping to find out if anyone else knows the answer. Wayne probably knows, Miss. He's good at maths, Miss, but he doesn't always have the confidence to put his Liam, I'm only too happy to hear your thoughts on geometry. I don't want your thoughts on your fellow pupils. Just going back to the volume of the cylinder, Miss, isn't it? Don't go back to it, Liam. Get, let someone else have a go. Yes, miss. So, volume of a cylinder. Anyone, anyone at all. Long pause, but not silence. A tiny little orchestra fiddling away. She frowned. She prowled up and down. You could see that she thought it might be in the next room or in her head. Finally, she said, can anyone hear music? Or are the angels finally coming to carry me away? 
I laughed at this, probably too loudly and definitely too long. No one else joined in, but everyone did stare at me, including Miss Jewell, who stared at me and then at my pocket. It's Holst, isn't it? She said. I said, no, miss, it's me. Thinking, who's Holst? This music was written by Gustav Holst. It's called The Planets. It's not the usual rubbish. Why are you playing it? Well, well, miss, I saw a thing on telly about how if you play classical music in the background, your brain really likes it and it makes extra pathways through your synapses. You can get brainier just by listening to classical music. It definitely works. Miss, look how many questions I've answered this morning. She was sort of humming along to the music now. I took the phone out so she could hear better and asked, why is it called the planets, miss? I know this was cynical, but she is a teacher. She loves questions. Miss Jewell talked non-stop the whole lesson about music, about Greek mythology and about the solar system. At one point, she tried to explain just how far away Neptune was and everyone gasped. And then she said, and it's near a neighbour compared to the stars. And she did a massive calculation on the board to show how far away the nearest star was both in kilometres and light years. It was the best lesson she had ever given us. But I was still on hold at the end of it. I did get another text alert though. Our second winner is Samson 2 Tor from Waterloo in Sierra Leone. Samson 2 is the cleverest boy in the country. Recently, his class was given a geography project about irrigation. Some of the boys got A grades. Samson 2's project was so good that the government bought it. His father says, it is important to push your children hard to fulfil their ambitions. Samson 2 and I have fun setting achievement targets. For instance, on his 10th birthday, he set himself the target of becoming president of our country. I set him the target of winning this competition. And he did it by writing a computer programme that bypassed the on hold part of the phone call and put him straight through to the operator. Although he is not interested in fairground rides, he is looking forward to this opportunity to study one of the wonders of the world. I'm sorry, but if you already live in Waterloo in Sierra, and Lo Sierra Leone, instead of the Waterloo near Bootle, then you really don't need to go and see the wonders of the world because you already are one of the wonders of the world. You've got jungles and rivers and instead of gas meters and bypasses, it's like the Grand Canyon wanting to come and look at the crack in my bedroom ceiling. Still, two lucky winners left to go. During the kerfuffle between lessons, the next one was announced. Our third winner is Matt. Max Martine of Lille in France. Max's father believes in discipline. So many children today are allowed to one, run wild, he says. Not Max. I insist that he does exactly what he's told to do. If children are bad, you must punish them. If they are good, you must reward them. Max does as he's told. I told him to win this competition. And he did. See? All these other kids are getting help from their parents. What's my dad doing? Ballot in the taxi? The next lesson was media studies with Mr Middleton, who blatantly hates me. We watched a DVD about the history of washing powder adverts. I wondered how my credit was holding up. I'd now be on hold for three hours. Did it make me want to give up? No. What made me want to give up was the next text message. There were only going to be four winners in the competition. And this was the fourth. We have a new winner, Hassan Xandu from Bosnia. Hassan's father, Edhem, says childhood is a happy time and how we can be happy if we don't have the things we want. So I give Hassan everything he wants. After all, it's only money and I can always get more money. For instance, he really loves thrill rides and wanted to be the first ever to ride the rocket. So I found the number of the girl who won it for charity. I phoned her and I offered to give the charity twice as much money as she could raise with sponsors. Simple. Everyone has their price. 
if the competition was over, then the music should stop and the lines should be closed. But the music was still playing. And then I realised that if he had bought the German girl's place, then he wasn't the fourth winner. He was a replacement first winner. There was still one chance left. And now the music had stopped and there was a ringing sound. I was being put through. I pulled the phone out of my pocket and got ready to speak. A hand snatched the phone out of my hand. It was Mr Middleton. I pleaded with him not to hang up. I'm in a queue, sir. I have been since eight o'clock this morning. No mobiles in class, an invariable rule and basic good manners. You should know that. Oh, please don't hang up. I could hear a friendly woman's voice talking on the phone. I was through. He snapped the phone shut and smiled. Tell me, he said, what was important about the new ideas that Osmo, sorry, that Omo used to promote their washing powder in the 1960s? What was important about them? I'll give you a clue, suds. Longer lasting suds. Now then, anything? No, you weren't listening to me, were you? What were you listening to? Little voices in your head or on your mobile? Maybe you'd like to tell the rest of us what they were saying. It was a level 70 monster question, the kind you're supposed to walk away from. But I engaged instead. I said, Recent studies have shown that the chances of an asteroid hitting Earth any time in the next 100 years are 5,000 to 1. Blatantly, the odds get stronger with every day that passes. A big enough asteroid could cause total global extinction. And therefore, it doesn't matter how long your suds last, and it doesn't matter if you've been specially selected or not. Sometimes you don't need to take the, ex the Alexia of the Madges first. Sometimes, if you simply step, step up to the monster, the Alexia just comes. He sent me out of class. Okay. Now, the next chapter is called Fathers Have Children. And that is chapter eight of Cosmic. I wonder what will happen next. Will Liam get a call back? Or is that it? Has he blown his chance? Listen on, or read on, and we'll find out. It was lovely to share chapter seven with you guys. I hope you're all keeping well, having some fun in the sunshine. I hope you're enjoying your Easter holiday, and I look forward to seeing you all very soon. Bye.